Jen Easterly from the Busy Mom Community, back for another informational session for our mom discussions, a time when we come together to share information that will help each other out. And the thing I wanna talk about today is when you have a mother-in-law that acts more like your husband's wife than his mom. Now, this can be a really challenging situation for any couple, but it's particularly challenging for people who are newly married. So as a fellow mommy, wife, and mental health provider, I wanna share with you some tips on how to approach these conversations. So the first thing you need to do is have a conversation with your husband. And when you're having this conversation, make sure that you are open and honestly sharing your feelings. And you're doing that by using I statements. So here's an example. Hey babe, you know, I love your mom so much and I really appreciate everything she does for us and the baby, but it's really difficult when she comes over without scheduling a time first. So when your mom steps over unannounced, it oftentimes causes me to feel like my feelings are being pushed aside, that I'm not being seen or heard. And that's really challenging. And then after you use statements like that, I statements, it's really important for you and your husband to agree upon some boundaries. Now, you're not going to want to jump into 10 boundaries, especially if the relationship has been so fluid in the past. So maybe just agree on three really good boundaries. And perhaps as it relates to this situation, a good boundary would be scheduling before you come over. Now, it's going to be really important that your husband has this conversation with your mother-in-law and not you. Because after all, it is his mom. So this is going to be information that's going to be better received coming from her son. And as long as your husband is leading this discussion by utilizing the same techniques that you did, those I statements, while it's going to be challenging for your mother-in-law to receive this information, to hear this information, and she may even be a little hurt initially. A great example of something that he could say to her would be this, as it relates to the time. Mom, I love you so much, and we just adore the time that you're able to come over and spend with us, and we so appreciate everything that you do for our family. Moving forward, I think it would be really helpful if we would know exactly when you're coming. So if we could schedule a day and a time, so we could just make sure that you are getting our undivided attention and love and that everyone is available to spend time with you, I think that that would really suit our family best. Now again, your mother-in-law is going to understand very clearly that her unwanted pop-up visits shouldn't happen moving forward. And again, if this is a pattern of behavior that has gone on for any length of time, it's going to be a little hurtful for her. But the boundary is going to be extraordinarily clear. You have to call and schedule before you come over. And by telling her how much you guys appreciate her, the message is being delivered with love. Okay, moms, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can contact us on the Busy Mom Community website page. Also, you can find us on any of our socials. If you have any questions or even discussion topics that you would like to be included in our next mommy discussion, please just send us a quick message and let us know. Again, this is Jenny Sterling with the Busy Mom Community, and I just love this time that I get to spend chatting with my mommy tribe. I wish you all the best, take very good care, and we will talk again soon.